Oh, hey, how you doing? Excuse me one second. Welcome to my messy garage. It's raining today, and uh, we were gonna do a big piecing video, but the weather is just not cooperating with us right now. But it gives me time to pick out some really cool colors and maybe come up with something that might be pleasing for you to see or to learn with. As with Seattle weather, uh, wait five minutes and it'll probably change. So we'll go out and go go uh, go catch a tag on something. Um, anyways, so while we wait for the weather to chill, uh, I thought maybe I'd go through some of our, our uh, YouTube comments. We get some great commenters from people, and it's always fun to see what the people out there have to say. So let's uh, let's go through a few of our comments and see uh, what goodness you have for us. All right, so this kid, he writes, you check it, you check it on YouTube. He says, yo, GR, it would be sick if at the start of every video that you put a few pictures of people that have submitted their graph to you via Instagram DM or whatever. It would be cool to see others work from around the world and for others to see mine. I think that's a great idea. So let's do that right now. I hope you enjoyed all that art from all the kids that they sent in to us. It's like putting it up on the refrigerator, you know what I'm saying? Owen Frazier says, Loved it when you were telling your story from your graffiti past. You should do more of that, uh, or make their own videos on just that. By the way, please sell me some of your vintage Krylon. You hurt my feeling, you hurt my soul when you used them. <laughs> Let me have them, I will treasure them. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Sometimes you just gotta break a few eggs. Um, <clears throat> let's see. You could have sold that on eBay. That's uh, IP Graffiti. He's usually the first guy to comment. <laughs> I should have sold it on eBay. That's right. Okay, Jay Johnson says, this is Jay Johnson. He's a European writer, I assume. He says, I'm glad I live in Europe. The paint here is all good quality. American paint looks like crappy quality. <laughs> Rusto comes out nice. It definitely does. Uh, they should go back to their old valve, though. It's much better with the Rusto fat. I think so. I don't think... Yeah. Use adapter if you have to, but old valve's better. So much better. Mm, let's see. Okay, Ducky McNugget says, can you please do a review on the dope chrome cans? The ones without the mixing balls, please. I don't know if I'll even have access to them, to be honest with you. I, I would, if someone can send me some, I'll definitely do a review on them. If you're looking for a can that doesn't have a mixing ball, the burner chrome, does not. You still should shake it. I'm sure it's probably the same with the dope can too. Um, but yeah, if someone sends me one, I'll, I'll definitely review it. Honestly, honesty is is how this channel runs. Like I will always be honest. So if it's a competitor's product, send it to me. I will give my my most honest review. And you know, you may disagree with me. I've had people tell me all the time that my that they don't like my opinions, and I'm okay with that. It's the way life goes. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, <clears throat> looks like the rain's starting to let up. So we're gonna go ahead and head out and uh, I'm gonna take some of these scrap cans. Let me see what I got here. I got some Riviera. I got, uh, let me see here. I got Aqua Light. This is actually one of my favorite colors, this Aqua Light. It goes on like the shock blue, maybe a little bit thinner. It flares out nicer than the shock blue does, that's for sure. The shock blue is a little bit thicker, I would say. But for tags and flariness, oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Uh, let's see, Kiwi Light, maybe we'll take that. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to use all these colors or I might use something different. Who knows? Um, it's a scrap can piece and a scrap can kind of day, so let's go do that. Came here to paint a piece, but there's one problem. I have to go duty. I have to go duty really bad. I forgot to bring toilet paper. So, um, one of the biggest tips I can give you guys is if you ever go paint spots, especially freights, make sure you bring a little bit of toilet paper with you, because you never know. Trust me.
17 minutes in and out. May not be as fast as some of those Euro train guys. Maybe I am, I don't know. Uh, it's been a while for me, but uh, I think you guys can make this fast. You just gotta have the right tools to do it. Um, just, uh, well, let's get back to the warehouse. I'll do a quick pan of the wall and a quick still shot. You guys can check it out. And then Anyways, so that was quite a little adventure, wasn't it? The music that you heard was one of the submissions from, from last month, and his name is Dr. Delray. He hails 
from Detroit, Michigan. And there's, I got a little bio. See, I even took the time to get bios from the artists because I care. All right, let me let me give you the rundown, the quick uh, a quick rundown of Dr. Del Rey. <clears throat> he says, "My name is Young Nozzle, A.K.A. Nasty Nozzle, A.K.A. Del Rey. I've been writing graffiti for about four to five years and have been producing music since last year. My dad used to produce music, so when he passed away, I felt the need to pick up where he left off. He also loved graffiti. I do it all for him. Rest in peace, Dad." Hell yeah, Dad. On a lighter note, I'm currently in the process of breaking the world record for the longest nipple hair. Bro, you get that. You get that, brother. You get that. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> Mr. Nasty Nick McFly, he is our new musician to be featured, and uh, you will be hearing more from him soon. But let's get to the, uh, the meat of the matter, and that was the cans that we used. So we had Lagoon Blue, we had aqua light. We had light orange in the in the uh, covers all can. We had a white uh, flame blue, flame blue white, kiwi light, signal red, and the piglet pink. So first of all, lagoon blue. Whether you're in the Molotow line, the Flame line, any of these lines, Lagoon Blue is always going to be a choice color. It comes out really good and thick. It's clean. It's vibrant. It's bright. It's probably one of the most beautiful colors in any of the lines. So definitely always pick up Lagoon Blue. The Aqua Light, I had never tried it before, and I've been using it in the Flame Orange, and I gotta say it's one of my new favorites. Reminds me a lot of the uh, of the Shock Blue and the Molotow Premium, but a little bit lighter and a little bit more flary. If you want to do flare tags and stuff like that, this is your choice. And then light orange, of course, in the uh, covers all cans. Now, I gotta tell you guys, I've been using the covers all cans for about three to four months now. How long has it been? I don't see a difference between them and the Molotow Premiums, other than the pressure difference. So if someone in Molotow can um, educate me, and I'm trying to be nice about it. I mean, I just, I, I expected something else. And I think this is a difference between the way Americans and Europeans use branding. You know, when we hear covers all, that means it better fucking cover everything. So, um, maybe it's just another mistranslation, like the transparent colors, right? I don't know. <laughs> I like them. I'm just not thoroughly convinced they're covers all cans. All right, and next is the flame blue and white. Now, here's the thing. I love the Molotow Premium Signal White. It's probably one of the best whites I've ever used, but I like how the flame blue signal white flares. It just flares in a different way, and you can get those kind of weird when you're coming out of it. You'll, you'll see it in the video. Um, when I do shines, this is my preferred color. Now, my shines are a little bit crunchy. You'll see that in the video, but I was in a hurry. I really had to go do. <laughs> But anyways, for shines, you can't beat them. Um, and now, let's see, what else? What do we got for colors here? Hold on, just to make sure the music's still playing. The Kiwi Light, if you notice in the video when I first do my outline, my halo with it, it looks a little bit crunchy. It's because the cap was clogged. I go and change the cap and then it looks much better after that. The Signal Red, it's, it's not as thick as I'd like it to be, but it still covers good. And the wall that I was painting, even though it was buffed, it was, it was like an old buff and it was chalky and, and dry. It was really soaking up the paint. So it was, it was not, it was, it, there's a lot of moss on the wall and stuff like that. So it was actually kind of a rough situation for the cans. And I was actually pretty surprised. The Signal Red did pretty good. And the Piglet Pink did great too. Although I was a little, I found it to be a little bit chalky. Um, and once I shook it up a little bit more and I cleared it with one of my calligraphy special tools, I was able to get a better spray out of it. So it might've been my personal fault. Normally these light pinks, you know, they have to have a lot more pigment in them in order to maintain the same consistency in a spray paint line. And it's very difficult to do. So there's always gonna be variances. Nevertheless, um, I would always recommend shaking a color like this a little bit more because what happens is you start pulling up a lot of that dry pigment and you get these kind of mis, you know, mistones where it's like lighter and darker lighter and darker and that's just from poor agitation remember these cans come a long way to get to you they come all the way from the wonderful land of Europe where the beer flows like wine yeah. <laughs> I love Europe Germany's really tight if you ever want to go on a spraycation and really experience graffiti the Germans have been um, they've basically been 
maintaining our cultures for us when they go out of style. <laughs> if you, you know what I'm saying? Like they maintain American culture for us. So thank you, Germany. I really appreciate that. Without you, we would probably be, um, who knows where we'd be by now. Oh, and caps. So um, for caps, I use the stock tip that came on the flame blue cans, or I'm sorry, the, I use the stock tip that came on the flame orange cans, and that's a, it's a Euro pink fat. Excellent, excellent cap for doing fat flares and stuff, and you'll see it on most of the fill-ins. It's a soft spray, but it's very uh, flary and beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful cap. I love this for tags, fill-ins, throw-ups, all the things you should be doing with the flame orange can. For the outline, and for the uh, shines, I used a, um, what's this called? Oh, a Lego cap. I'm sorry, the Lego cap. These are really dope caps. I used to not like them. I'm very, I'm skeptical. And some people say I'm an idiot. Maybe I'm a skeptical idiot. But um, these these Lego caps, I was, I was very, I really love the New York fat so much. So when we got these in, I was like, don't, don't, don't destroy my love for them. And I do love them. I love them in a different way. Um, but they're great for doing like outlines and shines with the flame blue and the Molotow premium and you know Relatively low pressure paints is an excellent cap for that um, and, and that's pretty much it. I just used the Legos and the uh, the stock tip that came with the uh, The flame orange cans and that's it. I Mean simple as that, but I was in and out in about 17 minutes. Can't beat that with a stick I'm moving baby. I'm moving if I can do this you guys can do this. Look guys, if I'm still painting, you need to be out there painting. Your 20 year old ass, your 19 year old ass, your 16 year old ass, my ass is out here doing this. I have to do it, you know. I mean, somebody's gotta make these videos, right? <laughs> but here, we're gonna make some deals for you. And here's, here's the cool thing. We got these cans a buck off right now, all right? So you're looking at almost iron lac prices for a high quality, real European paint with stock tip, a real European cap, not one of those fake, you know, Chinese dot caps. This is a real European Euro fat cap. So a buck off, really cheap, flame orange, you can't beat them. Also, I got I got case quantity discounts on those too. So if you're looking to get um, maybe like 10 cases, I can get you the flame orange for only $3.95. On 20 cases, I can get it for $2.95. You got to call us for that. 206-365-4083, of course, and I will hook you up with the price. Just ask for me. If I'm not there, leave a message and I'll email you right back. Again, I have the tools you need to get out there and make your voice heard because this is what graffiti is all about. This is your chance. This is your chance to use your free speech in a way that other countries don't get to do it. This is your chance to make your voice heard. This is your chance. This is your one life to do these things. So guys, hit us up. <coughs> artprimo.com 206-365-4083 again 206-365-4083 you can hit up me green ranger and that's at green ranger reviews or you can call the warehouse at 206-365-4083 remember artprimo.com we're open 24 hours we might not be there but you can still order from us that's the cool thing about the internet but it'll ship out the next day i mean we get we ship so quickly guys just just check us out talk to anyone who's ordered from us our shipping is quick it's secure, it's fast. We just kick ass. I mean, that's the bottom line. So be sure to order all your graffiti supplies from us. 206-365-4083, 206-365-4083, artprimo.com. Make sure to like our videos, make sure to subscribe to our videos, make sure to share our videos, and make sure to hit me up on Instagram, at Green Ranger Reviews. Talk to you later, guys. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.